Keep your hand on your gun Don't you trust anyone There's just one kind of man that you can trust That's a dead man Or a gringo like me The end of the universe is inevitable and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh damn, that's a pretty tree right there. There's a lot of theories on how the universe will end, um, but the one that I think is the most viable considering what we've seen about our universe now, um, pretty much our universe is expanding and accelerating um, at a rate that we think will go on forever. Everything will be constantly spreading out at a faster and faster rate. Um, and what I think is a good, you know, what, what would be a showstopper there would be everything accelerates so far away that they become causally unconnected. So, sorry, causally unconnected is, I'm probably saying this wrong. Uh, but it's this idea that part of our universe, or part of our, yeah, part of our universe won't be able to even interact with another part because they're accelerating so far apart. Um, because they're going like faster than the speed of light pretty much away from each other. So that they would never even see their existence. So once these regions of our universe become causally disconnected, uh, what we're left with is just regions of matter. Um, just like stars, galaxies, it, uh, depending on how big the region, it could be a few galaxies, maybe even thousands. I don't know that that much. Um, but when these, uh, when all this matter loses enough energy, <coughs> it'll fall into a central point. So the thought is that that central point will be a black hole for each region. And then since these regions can't communicate with the other ones because they're causally disconnected, meaning they can't transfer light, energy, any sort of thing like that, then uh, something crazy happens. And this was found by uh, Hawking. So Hawking found uh, that black holes, they're not actually black. They emit some sort of radiation and since then he dubbed it Hawking radiation. Um, and he also found out that when they emit this radiation, it, uh, it decreases the mass of the black hole. So over time, you'll have these black holes emitting all of their radiation, all of their energy, and basically turn their mass straight to energy. So there'll be nothing left in that region. And all you would have left in any of the universe would be energy that's just flying around. So yeah, that's the that's the thought behind heat death. And it's funny because of its name, because it's not actually hot at all. The universe would not be hot because it would be so distant from each other that it would be probably the coldest thing ever. Very close to absolute zero until, you know, all the black holes are, are melted away. Evaporate away. <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. But none of that really matters. Because you're going to die before the universe ends, I can tell you that. I can guarantee you that. What is my guarantee worth? Also nothing. So, you know, I've got, I've got a lot of credi credibility behind my arguments. <laughs>